Hello students, today we are going to study political science of class 11th. We will study the book 1. Chapter 1, Constitution, Why and How. I am sure you all know what a constitution is. A constitution is a set of documents or fundamental principles which specify the ways to constitute a state norms or norms a state should follow like in our homes we have some set rules some rules which we all follow those rules may be written or may be unwritten similar kind of documents you will even find in your school where the rules are written for the children and everybody else to follow that is why the constitution was framed because the country also needed some rules to follow and run the country effectively. And that is exactly what a constitution does. Let us understand the meaning of the constitution a little more. Constitution is a compact document or set of documents like I told you that comprises a number of articles about the state specifying how the state is to be constituted, constituted how a state is to be made and what norms, what norms, what rules it should follow. That is important. The next topic which we need to study is the need of constitution. Why did we need a constitution? You all know that for many years we were ruled by the Britishers. The Britishers followed their own rules and own principles to rule our country. But due to the hard work of our freedom fighters, we finally gained independence from British rule and we needed to frame some rules to form our own country, our own government. And for that, we needed a constitution. We needed a book. We needed a framework according to which our country could run. That is exactly why there was a need to make a constitution. Your book specifies five major points to show the need for constitution. First, constitution allows coordination and assurance. When we got independent, our country was a large country, it still is a large country, and very diverse. People of all walks of life lives, live in our country. Different religions, different status, different social standards. We find people from all walks of life, like I said, in our country. So the major thing that was required was to have a good coordination and to assure everybody that they will be treated equally in the country. And so the constitution was required to set such principles, to set such rules, which would allow coordination among the people and also assure them that they will get equal status in the country. So it enforces basic rules by which the people have to follow and live in the country. Second topic is specification of decision making powers. The, the need of the constitution was understood. It was required for coordinating. But the major point that came up was who will make these decisions? How will we decide what decisions have to be made? There has to be somebody who has to create rules, the principles. In a monarchy, a monarch does so. In a dictatorship, it is a dictator who makes the rules. So whoever is the head of the government, that person makes the rules. I hope you understand what I am trying to say. Like in a family, the father makes the rules if the father is the head of the family. In the school, the principal makes the rules. We all know that very well. So similarly, who will make the rules in this kind of a situation? Now, India was neither a monarchy, nor was India ready to follow dictatorship. India wanted to have some form of government where everybody is free, 
and everybody has a right to say something and that kind of government is a democracy so india chose a democratic form of government and that is why now it wanted a body who will decide who will make the powers who will take the major decisions of the country and the constitution did exactly that it specified the qualification and the person who will be able to make powers in the country third limitations on the powers of the government now the next question which arose was we have given some people some powers say we have given 5 10 people some powers to make the powers for the country to make the rules for the country what if these people become autocratic they may start making these powers or using these powers for their own interest what then what will our country do will the won't the countrymen suffer for this to avoid these kind of problems there were some limitations which are put by the constitution on the powers of the government the government cannot in any circumstances exceed or go against what is written in the constitution they cannot do anything on their own that was a limitation that was put on the powers of the government so that they are able to make the decisions for the welfare of the country and not to fulfill their own interest fourth aspirations and goals of a society you know the meaning of aspirations aspirations means desire wishes so desires and goals of a society this was also very important the government has to see when it is making the rules that the desires and the goals of the society are fulfilled because india is a vast country everybody will have their own dreams and aspirations it was the duty of the constitution to put up such kind of principles that the people of the country are happy and their goals are all fulfilled it was also required as a positive measure to remove and overcome all forms of inequality giving in to diversity we have poor rich inequality is based on caste system inequality is based on class system equality inequality is based on color language religion anything and everything you think of it and we have it and that is why it was important that the government makes such positive measures that these kind of inequalities do not hamper the working of the country and for this the government gave fundamental rights and directive principles of state policy you will study more about these two topics in the next coming chapters the fifth point for the need of the constitution was fundamental identity of people our constitution specifies an identity to the people of the country the first identity that our constitution gives is political identity we require a political identity every country needs an identity the people of the country need an identity as to know what is their status in the country so people as a collective entity come into being only through the basic constitution agreeing to certain basic norms and principle one constitutes one's political identity the second kind of identity with the constitution gives us is moral identity the constitution sets authoritative constraints upon what one may do and one may not do that is very important and that defines the fundamental values that we may not trespass so it also gives us a moral identity thirdly the constitution gives us is our national identity every person whichever country they may be belong to they are known by the name of their country a german national it belongs to germany if you meet an italian you know that he belongs to italy similarly an indian belongs to india so it was very important 
that a relationship is maintained and the ethnic identity of our country is not lost. So different nations embody different conceptions of what the relationship will be. And this relationship constitutes the national identity of our country. In India, the relationship that we developed, the relationship which was seen as most important is to maintain the culture and ethnicity of our country. We studied what a constitution is. 